Shumai friendy eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get into The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. I am super excited to be starting this brand new Let's Play today. I cannot wait to start playing in Mount Komarebi. So let's get started. So this is gonna be our home for this let's play. Uh, sorry Simlessy, I did renovate your rental home a teeny bit. <laughs> you will be seeing this renovation on Saturday. <laughs> so yeah, let's get in and Azumi's gonna get ready because she is in the salary person career and she has work in like an hour and a bit so she needs to get ready for Yuki to have some breakfast because she's kind of hungry but Yuki is an independent little toddler so she can go potty on her own perfect while well, Izumi makes her breakfast so if you haven't seen the creator sim for these characters I would definitely recommend checking that out first so you can get a little bit of an introduction to these sims but I'll give you a little rundown while we're getting ready Yuki's just on the potty we're gonna have to get a uh, nanny for Yuki have you used the bathroom yet yes then go eat cereal. So Azumi's going to work. Let's see her work outfit actually. There's no socks on her work outfit. Oh, this is cute. But Azumi's not really all that much uh, passionate about her work. She's just kind of doing it to provide for Yuki. But obviously the nanny is super expensive. And you might be thinking, a single mom with this big home in the, right at the bottom of the slopes, this is kind of an expensive house. Like, how can she afford that? And that is because Izumi actually inherited this house. This was uh, her... Yeah, she's really not happy about that. <laughs> this was her parents' ho holiday home. That is like their second home. But uh, her parents have passed away now from old age. So she has inherited this house. And she did have quite a lot of inheritance. Her parents were rich. But obviously because she's a single mom to little Izumi how cute uh little Yuki <laughs> I'm gonna get used to the names how cute is it they go through the platforms I love that because uh she's a single mom she's spent quite a lot of her inheritance looking after little Yuki and she's got her cereal now see mom even though she's gone to work she still made little Yuki breakfast ready for the nanny Oh, the boss calls an end of day meeting at the local Izakaya. It's implied that this gathering is what good team players participate in. Izumi had a bad meal at lunch and really feels like she should head home to recuperate. So this is going to be the start of like her sort of personality. She is not, uh, she's not passionate about her job one bit. <laughs> She's literally only doing this so she can keep providing for Yuki. So even though she's literally just gone to work, she's not going to go to the Izakaya. Is Izakaya? Maybe. Um, if I'm pronouncing anything wrong, let me know. Uh, I'm good with Welsh words and sometimes English. <laughs> but other sort of things maybe I can't quite pronounce that right but I'm gonna give it a go so she's gonna sneak off home fuck work <laughs> all the time Azumi has spent being quiet and not speaking up at the office has paid off no one notices that she's gone home <laughs> having no one remember your birthday pays off that is me 
So I'll get her to eat a little lunch now and then once she's finished her lunch I'll get Izumi to come home early because <laughs> Izumi actually chose to do that instead of going to I think it is the bar so she's missing her mom she wants her mom to come home and mom actually doesn't want to be working all that much so she's going to be leaving a little bit early <laughs> And she got 162 simoleons. So let's get Izumi to send the nanny home as well. So it's like, oh, thank you very much. You can go now. She is an adventurous sim, family and oriented, jealous and domestic because she wanted to be a super parent. And she's actually outdoorsy. So she loves being outdoors, basically. She doesn't like being in her stuffy job. And she's going to come and hug little Yugi. She's super happy to be home. Let's get her out of those stuffy work clothes too. Into a nice comfortable indoors outfit. She's like, oh, I missed you so much. Hi. How was your day with your nanny? I snuck home from work because my boss doesn't actually know anything about me. <laughs> I've set up some sentiments too. So Yuki and Izumi. Izumi is adoring to Yuki, obviously because she's her mom, she absolutely loves her and she is a family oriented sim so that is why she kind of just loves being a mom really. And this is Izumi's ex and Yuki's dad and they are broken up obviously. It's very awkward to be around each other and Izumi's kind of hates Katsuo for cheating and she's kind of wounded by his actions obviously he didn't want to be a dad whatsoever and he's hurt and a bit bitter about the breakup because he's a non-committal sim he's kind of like fine with being together but flirting with other people basically and she wasn't so he's kind of a little bit bitter about that and obviously they've argued quite a bit so they really don't have good sentiments towards each other and Yuki, as you can see, doesn't really know dad all that much. And she's kind of got a grudge against him. She's a toddler, so it's not like that deep. It's just like, oh, he didn't play with me. And he tried to teach me about traditions and stuff, but I wasn't interested. I just wanted to play because he's proper. He's sort of teaching her that. And they're like acquaintances because he's just not really around all that much. <laughs> She just like kind of dislikes him, but just doesn't really know him all that much. So it's 5 p.m. She's technically still be in work right now, but we don't want to be doing that. We want to go and check out the slopes. And it's getting dark already. Wow, how did it take them an hour and 45 minutes to walk from their house, which is literally by there? But oh, wow, that is so pretty. Oh, just look at that. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh! I'm loving this world. I thought it was really nice to have them here too. Now, how am I gonna watch them go all the way down the slope? Should I wait at the bottom? Oh, they even went over a jump! <laughs> oh, that is so cute. So they can't go up the. They can't go sliding together. Then let's stop this then, because I'm so late already. She's only a little toddler and she needs to use the potty. Oh dear. Right, pick her up. And take her home. We only got to go down one slide today. I don't know why that didn't count. So we'll go down again. But maybe we'll snowboard this time. Azumi got a loner snowboard from the lodge for now. It's a little janky. Oh, she can... Oh. Oh, wow. Are we gonna take it over now? 
Yay! So use a vending machine or the computer to purchase a remedy or deterrent and use an info board. Do we have an info board about? And these are new little vending machines. This totally makes sense to me for this to be like a Japanese inspired pack and they'd be like vending machines and stuff. Because I've seen in loads of YouTube videos where there's like loads of vending machines out and about in Japan. Sophia Nygaard's done a vending machine video in Japan. And... Pretty Parcel Please. Uh, Nerdy Crafter. There's quite a few. Oh wow! So skis and a snowboard. So snowboard's 200 simoleons. We can buy a snowboard. We'll get some injury bomb as well. Nice! <laughs> See we go doing alright on this. What's the time? 10pm. You are still super mad. You want to go to bed. <laughs> go to bed then little one. So Izumi is making her way over to the board. I'm just loving this world so far. I wanted it to be a little different and live right by the slopes. Let's check out the board. See that first. These kind of look like the community boards. Oh, okay. Uh, at the bathhouse on Saturday, we have... The Festival of Snow. Oh, that's cute. There's little sculptures. Ikayaki. Is that squid? Hmm. I wouldn't hear, <laughs> but I'm fussy. <laughs> and snow time. Cute. Okay. And we're on part two already. Nice. So, yeah, I wanted to live down here because their surname which I will get up. Sakamoto actually means one who lives at the bottom of slopes. So that that was perfect for them to live around here. And then obviously they get that name from Izumi's parents because they used to live here. Right, it's the next morning. And as you can see, Izumi is super hungry. It's a very cute pajamas though. And little Kuma lying upstairs in her bed. It's like she's got her own bedroom in the hallway. You are not supposed to be washing dishes up here. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought that was patched. Izumi, no. You shouldn't be going all the way upstairs just to wash a fucking dish. It's supposed to be fixed. I knew that was too good to be true. Uh, that stuffy outfit again. She needs tights or something with that. It's freezing. Maybe like when she goes into the city on the commute, it's not so cold as it is up in the mountains. Are you going to go to work? Well, she really don't want to go to work. I don't know what's going on with this. Whether it's simulation lag. Right, we're going to get Nanny back. And she is pissed because she's an outdoorsy sim. Where is our Nanny? So I'm going to get her to come home at like 1, 2-ish. And Yuki is on the party. I thought it was really nice because uh, in Japanese sort of homes it's more traditional for the toilet to be separate for the, from the bathroom. So I thought it would be nice to put the party in with the like little toilet room so Yuki can be traditional too, I guess. Little Yuki playing with her dolls and, and Kuma just watching playing with her. Oh, how sweet is that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, and she is super tense. She hates her job. And why are you hung angry? You're just mad at the dolls and missing mum. Oh, she can imitate her too, can't she? Oh, so cute. I just am really enjoying this little bonding experience. Oh, look at her tilting her head. Just listening. That is so cute. 
these two are gonna be like the closest little pair when she grows up. I was super close to my like family dog when I was little. I used to sleep on her. <laughs> it was the 90s. But yeah, I used to get my little blanket and my bottle as a toddler and the dog would obviously be lying down and I would use the dog as a, a dog's belly as a pillow and fall asleep on the dog. So this is just so sweet and so Oh, how cute are they? I just want to... <laughs> And their little matching outfits as well. I just love this. And they're going down on this one again. So let's watch them go down. Oh, <laughs> oh that was a bit... Yay! Oh, that was so cute. See if they can go down more than once, maybe. Oh. Why did they have like a negative thing then was that one not so good oh oh yeah this is better i still can't quite go fast enough though <laughs> yay <laughs> oh that's super sweet i love that and they seem to be having a lot of fun i don't think they're getting any more like sentiments or anything though how is that like going down how is that not filled like are they having a lovely time together. Like she's even feeling inspired because she's bringing out the best in Yuki. That is so cute. Wow. Oh, it's got so dark already. Oh, just look at that. Oh, why is it so pretty? Oh, let's just do a little rock climb just once and a little cautiously because we haven't really done this before. Of while the sun is setting behind her. Oh, just look at that wow <laughs> i'm thoroughly enjoying this i really didn't think sulani could could be beaten on sunsets so just wow rock climbing skill rock walls are no longer obstacles rather than fun challenges to be conquered let's see you doing it oh she fell <laughs> i was just getting to her give it a little more of a go then Oh, this is good. Give it a little go. She loves being adventurous and out and about. And the sun is setting, so it's going to be a little bit harder to see, like, the handholds and stuff. But sure. she make her way up? Oh, she did. She only tried twice. Go on, Azumi. Yeah, go on, Azumi. Well done. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of maintenance <laughs> before I end this off. Because Izumi's hungry, Kuma's dirty, Yuki actually used her nappy, so she's a little uh, dirty, so she needs to be cleaned. <laughs> she wants to get out an adventure, and she just can't do anything, because she needs to work this boring job as a salary person, look after her dog and the toddler, <laughs> so she's not having a great time. She's going to have to bath Kuma now when she's finished her dinner. And I think I'm going to leave it off there for now. We've had uh, a little explore of the mountain top in Mount Komarebi. We've kind of stayed around here from where we live at the moment. But we'll obviously explore the whole town eventually. So obviously she's kind of working part time being a single mum. She's not really earning much money and... She has to kind of just pay all of that to the nanny at the moment, which isn't great. I'm glad they could go down sledding though. How adorable is that? I just, I love that we can actually do things with the toddlers on those slopes. And obviously taking little Yuki out on the slopes so much. Maybe she'll build a passion like her mom and want to go like skiing and snowboarding when she's a child let me know what you think are you enjoying the let's play so far well have you enjoyed the first episode <laughs> I'm gonna leave it off there. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already and you would like to, 
it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye!